Hello and welcome to this episode of Steve's Horse Show. I am your host, Steve Cook, and today we are going to show you how to take better pictures of your horse. I am with a professional photographer, Rachel Griffin, and she is gonna show you whether you're using a phone or a camera or whatever it might be, how to three steps to take better pictures of your horse. All right, if you've ever wanted to take a picture of your horse or you with your horse, today's the day we're gonna show you exactly how to do it from a real professional. <laughs> Rachel is going to walk us through three steps to taking better pictures with or of your horse. Step number one is to get the background out of your photo the bad parts of their background, I guess. You can't get all the background out. Um, talk about that a little bit. A lot of people forget that part. Yeah, so it's something where you're not really, you're so focused on the horse that you don't pay attention to the background until you're at home trying to post this photo and you know, there's a house coming out of your horse's head or you know, there's an ugly manure pit Something behind. makes your horse look like an alien. Yeah, yeah, it's just not as pretty. But the fix is really simple as long as you're paying attention to it. Um, so really, you know, position your horse in a place where it's going to be as clean and clear in the background as you possibly can, but then just take a second and look at the picture as you're before you take it. And, you know, if there's a house or there's the stumps that we saw out there, you can just, just kind of around. move your feet just a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely changing the location or moving way far, but even just moving a couple feet left or right can uh, drastically change the background and prevent your horse from having something weird sticking out of them. All right, so step number two, and this goes with all devices, is to not just shoot at eye level. Try to get your horse at different angles and things like that. Why do you, what's the importance of that? Yeah, so people with their cell phones, we naturally just hold our phone up to our faces and snap Being a picture lazy. like that. A little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that angle, especially if you're too close to your horse, gives you what I call like big head and little arm syndrome of it's just a warped, distorted horse because that's not actually the angle that a horse is gonna look its best and most balanced at. And so what you actually wanna do is step pretty far back from your horse. If you have to zoom in a tiny bit once you get where you are, that's totally fine, zooming is great. What you don't wanna do is ever have to use the wide angle camera on your horse because that just distorts it even more. You get a cartoon for a horse and not the beautiful animal that you love. Um, and then the second part of that is instead of shooting at eye level to you, you wanna bring that camera down so it's about in the middle of the horse's shoulder or lower. Okay. Lower is fine and you know, really high is artistic, but <laughs> just right in the middle of the horse's shoulder is really where you wanna be. Okay, tell me why do you shoot the phone at the shoulder level or you know, lower? Is that because it balances the horse or why, does it, why do you do that? No, that's exactly it. So it's for balancing the proportions of the horse and so then the image that you have appears like the animal that you love. Um, especially that's really important with sale photos. So many times you'll see photos that were just taken at eye level and that horse looks unbalanced and looks way stumpier than he really is. Mm. Just, and that's easily fixed, just bringing your phone down a little bit. Um, and then if you want to get artistic though, most you can advanced. get really, Shove really cell low. Phone trick. Cell phone. And so, you know, you're already down here, but then say your horse is just out in the pasture, beautiful grass. Then you flip the phone over so the camera's down at the bottom. You bring it all the way down to the ground and then shooting up like so, you get some pretty grass and your horse looks really, really tall. Um, and it just makes for a more dramatic scenic image. If you're just out having fun with your horse, you want to take a pretty but picture. But that's only for the professional cell phone. <laughs> professional cell for phone For the advanced, that's, that's uh, <laughs> cell phone photos of horses. <laughs> 405. In a pasture. <laughs> um, okay, so the third step is a lot of people worry about getting the feet all set up. A lot of people worry about getting the lead rope just right and all of these different things, but they forget about what? They forget about the ears. And this is such an important thing because, you know, we know our horse's expressions. We can read them and they have so many. And so if the ears are kind of crooked and off to the side or back or just bored, we're going to see that and we're going to know. If it's a photo of you and your horse, it's just not going to be as pretty. If it's a sale photo, the horse looks mulish. Right. Um, and it's it can it can 
be a simple fix, but it can also be really tricky depending on your horse. Um, so me as a professional, I always have an assistant with me at shoots strictly to help catch ears. They're my ear catchers. The squeaky bag. Um, yes, we have this whole bag of magic tricks. <laughs> um, just kind of collect weird things. Um, but if you're just by yourself, there's a couple tricks you can use. You know, there's um, a whole bunch of different apps. My favorite is called the All Ears app, which helps huh. you take selfies too. Wow. Um, and that has different animal sounds on it to catch your horse's attention. Um, or you can even just, you know, have a peppermint wrapper or a plastic bag and just crinkling it a little bit catches those ears, gets that little bit of attention, and that's when you snap that photo. If you have that horse though that's like, you know, really distracted, looking for his buddy, looking around, doesn't want to look where you want him to, then work with that and use what I call free ears and just turn him toward his buddy or turn him to whatever's distracting him. Have you trademarked that phrase yet? Free ears, no, I have not. <laughs> Freeears.com is now for sale. It's a ears app. <laughs> all right, so you are a professional and mm -hmm. you take all these fancy pictures and beautiful pictures of people with their horses, but you also enjoy and appreciate a good cell phone picture, right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, you know, I'm the horse obsessed girl too. My phone is just chock full of horses of me and my own horse. I'm honestly not even very good at selfies, so they're not great <laughs> phone photos. Um, <laughs> I use my professional gear for the nice photos and then my phone looks like everybody else's. Uh, but those memories are still just as important. You know, if you're out there, your horse means so much to you. And so being able to document those everyday moments is still a big part of that slice of life with that horse. Um, I always say, you know, and I encourage people, you know, take the photos with your phone, print them out. There's companies and apps that, that let you print your cell phone photos, great. It's never gonna be the thing that blows up beautifully on your wall, but it's still important to have. And then when you're ready to celebrate, you know, the partnership and relationship you have with your horse and want to really get dressed up and feel great about yourself too, then that's when you call me. Sweet. All right. Rachel will be tagged in the <laughs> notes below and you can get a hold of her if you're ready to get a real professional photographer to your property. Thank you for watching this episode of Steve's <laughs> Porsche.